Hello, I finally made it back home after a lot of traveling and I got home to three art related packages. I'm so excited. Who doesn't love to get art packages, right? So I have to choose one of the three for this video. Stay tuned. All right, the first thing I got is a dot card. This is from Autocano. If you are not new here, then you know that I am a Patreon supporter of hers and we get little dot cards every month. And I like to do these dot cards and make little paintings out of them in my sketchbook. So we have that to choose from. We have a package, a very large package from Etcher, oh. And last but not least, we have powerful packs. So I have to choose one and in a, you know, the real world, I would ask which one you guys would wanna see, take a vote and go with that one, but I can't wait for responses. So I have to choose myself. All right, I know which one I'm going to choose. So if it's not the one you wanted and you wanna see the other two, then make sure you hit subscribe below and all notifications and I will get to these. Are you disappointed? If I were you, I would have wanted to see what was in that big etcher bag, but it's getting late in the month because of all my traveling and this is overdue. So palette full packs it is, which is still exciting in and of itself. So we're good, we're still good. Ta-da! Okay. Oh, markers. <laughs> we are starting to get a big selection of graphics products. Marabou graphics products. Marabou products in general, actually. So these are alcohol-based markers. Chisel tip and bullet nib. You can see the colors right there. Oh, there's another package. Okay. All the grays. So we have a grayscale set and a color set. Oh, this should be really fun. I really like markers, so that's great. What is all this J is? Gold Pit Artist Pin. Oh, that's going to be nice. Okay, I love the Faber-Castell markers, the Pit Artist Pins. These are really nice. Pit Artist Pin Bullet Nib, one and a half. Oh, white. Yeah, that's white. Imagine that. Okay. A pigment liner, size 0.5. And one more in 0 0.1. 0 0.1 is teeny tiny. I can never get these to last with me. Seems like I bend them way too easily, but we'll see how this one works out. The card, look at that in a second. And these are always hard to get out because they are the size of the box. A few millennia later, we have Seth Cold Bristol paper. I have not heard of that. Nice. A lot of people, most people I know, use Bristol paper for markers, so that'll be great. And we actually get a card again this month. We did last month as well. Let's see what the prompts are. Pirate, pastry, shoe, and cityscape. Oh, that sounds way too much fun. I'm liking this. And there's tips and techniques there, so you can pause and read that if you'd like. Starting out by swatching, and the Faber-Castell Pit Pin Gold is odorless, permanent, and water resistant. It will not bleed through paper. It's pigmented India ink, and it's light fast, acid free, and pH neutral. No need to pump, prime, or shake. The white one has all the same characteristics. It says that it is perfectly opaque, which I did not find, but that's okay. And the Marabou sketch markers create your favorite illustrations, cartooning, anime, and fine art projects on a wide variety of surfaces. Add these markers to your alcohol ink collection for more creative possibilities. Use them to draw crisp lines, fill in sharp solids, create color gradations, and add depth to drawings with shading and shadowing techniques. So you can see here I'm trying the basically the blending and color mixing, and it worked really well on this paper. It's just pretty amazing how awesome the colors blended together and I wasn't trying to get like an even blend I just wanted to create new colors so I guess when I'm saying color blending I'm just meaning creating new colors hello it is five hours later and when it takes me that long to get going on a project I realize that that 
idea isn't going to work for me. So my idea for these prompts were to do a whole scene and I was going to sketch it out on this. I was going to have a pirate sitting on a rock, like eating a cupcake, that was his bounty, and maybe some sea and then a city at night behind him. But I want the pirate to be wearing Converse shoes. So that was my idea. You can see how well that went. The page is blank. <laughs> And what I discovered is I just, that's too much for me right now. I actually signed up for a Udemy course, if that's how you say it, Udemy or Udemy, Udemy, I think it's Udemy, about creating like scapes. That's not the right word, but I'll look that up and put it on the screen. And I'm just not ready for that today. It just, it's too much. I have to leave town again tomorrow night. But what I did is I started to play with some mixes of the markers. You can see here I mixed the cyan with the warm gray deep because I wanted a night sky, but I wanted a night sky that wasn't black. So here I put the black right next to it just to compare and contrast them. And you can see there is a big difference. So this will work great for my night sky. I mixed yellow with the warm gray light, trying to see if I could get some shadow colors because for pastry, you, I kind of feel like I need a brown or a brownie yellow or something like that. And I just don't have that with this color selection. So I played with that and then I also played with the cool gray light and the warm gray light to try and see if I could get a little bit of a brown. I'm not getting a good brown. That brown is, is not really brown. It's going to be too dark. And doing all this playing definitely gives me an idea of what I can and cannot do, which is great. That's the whole idea. I also noticed when I did these swatches, I have a lot of streaks because of the way I did them. I put it down in a stripe, picked the marker up, put it back down in another stripe. So on this one here, I just went back over and over and over it, just like three times, I think. And nice, smooth color on this Bristol paper. That's beautiful. But you can see by doing it the original way, like I did the original swatch, I do get a stripey look, but it is a lot lighter. However, I can't keep it that light and keep it not streaky without just going to a different color like this one. So this one, I just went over more deliberately so I never picked up the tip of the marker and just went over that and got a pretty smooth gradient here. It's not a gradient, that's totally the wrong word, but I got a pretty smooth marker lay down here without the streaks and it is a little bit lighter than going over it completely till all the streaks are gone. So those are some of the things that I was playing with. So instead, my idea is to just do these prompts separately. I have a really fun idea for a pirate all by itself. Pastry, I'm still kind of at a blank there, but I will come up with something beautiful. Shoe, definitely have a lot of grays here. I have a great idea for shoe. And cityscape, I got my playing done, so I have a fun idea for cityscape. So I'm just going to do separately. I have the yellow and the vermilion, and I'm going to try that tip, tip, tip thing because I'm not getting colors I want. Okay, let's see what that does. Not smooth, not clean. And as those tip to tip things are, unpredictable. So that's a fail. Moving on, the first one I decided to try my hand at was Pirate and I mix pastry in with that. And this one is pretty self-explanatory. So let's talk about the value of the box. The value according to palette full packs of the products in this box is $58.31. And I looked in several different places for the value of the products independently, and I came up with $69.74. I could not even find the Art Alternatives pigment liners anywhere, not even on Alt Alternatives' own website. So maybe they don't exist. No, they, they have to exist. Obviously, we have them in our box, but uh, I couldn't find them anywhere. And if you prepay for the whole year for this box, you end up paying $32.50 per box. At least that's what I paid when I bought it last year. And even if you pay month to month, I think it's only around $35 in free shipping. So regardless, Palette Packs has always been a great value in my opinion. I have never been disappointed with the value of the box. There are sometimes I don't like what I get inside, but that is the risk you get with art subscription boxes. And I definitely want to tell you that these markers on this Bristol paper were an excellent combination. These markers worked so well. They 
blended out beautifully. There was no streakiness unless I wanted streakiness. The colors you saw blended really nicely. And when I say blend, again, I mean like the color mixing. You saw I put the cyan on the ground under Garfield and then I put the yellow on top of it and I got a beautiful green. Here you can see I did my little cyan warm gray mixture to get that night sky. They are going over the top of each other. They're not bleeding through the back of this paper. They're smooth. They are so smooth. Oh my goodness, to work with. You guys should try them. You'll probably love them. This box gets an A+. Phew! I think that finishes it up, but when I was laying these products out here, I realized I did not use the gold marker, so I'm going to use that on Monsieur Garfield here. I'll make the little hilt of his sword there gold. We should give him like a gold belt too. There we are, and we will just fix that like so. Now we use the gold. Gold actually might be a good color for the bottom of the donut too. So we could do that. And in the meantime, thank you so much for joining me. Yeah, I like that gold there. So we have a pirate and a pastry, a cityscape, and shoe. So that took care of all four prompts. Again, thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate your time. Hit the like button down below. It really helps the channel out. And if you like these kind of videos and you're new here, consider subscribing. Do two art subscription boxes a month, sometimes more when I get into my old ones. Check out that series up there. And yeah, I guess we will see you in the next video. It's going to be a good one because of that etcher bag of goodies. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. Bye-bye.